Okay, hi everybody. Um, I hope you all had a lovely half term and you all relaxed because I think you deserve to. Um, so again, I just thought I'd go through the spag, Matt, and there's a few other bits from this week that I'm going to try and do some videos for um, the fronted adverbials work because um, I've just been having a look at that and um, it's quite a lot on there. So if I've got time, I'll do another video. So um, what you need to have in front of you is the year three, summer term one, SPAG or SPAG mat. And if you go down again, so they've changed the order again, just to keep you on your toes, it's the third sheet down. So you've got the, I don't know if you can see that, you've got the first sheet and then the answers second sheet and then the answers and then the third sheet and the answers and that's the most difficult one so we're going to go over that okay so a can you unscramble these four prepositions of time use the numbered letters to make another preposition word so a preposition if you think of the word preposition it's got the word position in it so a preposition tells you where or when um something is happening okay it's a, it's a um you know before or until or after or it could be on or under it shows you where or when something is happening pre position so you've got to uh, unscramble those words uh, i'm not going to do that for you because i think that's quite straightforward and then the numbers underneath so you've got uh, Rob Effie uh, and then it's got the number three and you have to get that letter and then you've got one two three four and then that gives you another preposition word okay that's quite straightforward I think you can do that one um, B can you write a suitable prefix for these root words now so the prefix comes before the root word pre meaning before um, and you can have negative prefixes um, uh, which change that they give you the opposite so for example possible if you put im in front of it it becomes impossible so possible is when you can do something um, impossible is when you can't do something okay so um, you've got regular and correct so what prefixes can you put in front of those that change the meaning of those words so what's the opposite of regular if something is regular it's always on time you can rely on it um, if it's not regular um, it's not um, there's no time to it, for example. I'm trying to say this without actually giving you the answers because I want you to have a think. You, you've got to say the words and think what sounds right. Um, same for correct. If something's not correct, it is... I'm not going to tell you. Okay, have a play around, have a think. Um, I'm trying to... Oh, I don't want to give you the answers. There's lots of prefixes it could be. If you're stuck, ask mum or dad to get in touch with me and I'll help you out a bit more. I'm being really mean today. Um, C, write a suitable subordinating conjunction in each sentence. And that, here's Mr. Whoops again. Mr. Whoops, he's got problems. He's got problems, Mr. Whoops. He needs to see someone because, you know, he's having all these accidents. Um, so you've got to put a subordinating conjunction in each sentence. Now, that sounds harder than it is because once you read the sentences, it will come naturally what word you need to put in there. So Mr. Whoops is probably the most accident-prone man in the world. Subordinating conjunction. He is always having mishaps. Maybe he just needs glasses you know um b he always falls over his shoelaces they come undone he should be doing a double knot in those shoelaces then they wouldn't come undone or better still by some velcro trainers um d can you write an asian suffix word to match these definitions so the suffix comes at the end of the word 
prefix comes before, suffix comes at the end. So um, facts and figures, what word can you think of that ends with Asian? It talks about facts and figures. Mm. I'm going to give you the answer to that one at the end of this video. And same for the next two. The process of getting ready for something. If you're getting ready for something, what do you need to do? You need to prepare. And the next one, something having respect for someone. Mm, if you respect someone, you might admire them, maybe? I'll give you the answer at the end. don't want to make it too easy for you. Um, now, E, it says circle the word that contains only consonant letters. It should say circle the words, plural, that contain only consonant letters because there are three words there that don't have any vowels. So your vowels, remember, are A, E, I, O, U. They're your vowels. So there are three words on that list. Rhythm, myth, screw, sky, parade and ogre. There are three words on there that don't have any vowels in them, that only have consonants. Okay. And F. Can you think of nouns to fit in this table? Nouns to fit in this table. Um, bird or item of clothing. Um, uh, I'm sure I'm not sure about that one. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, so you could right. Ah, sorry. I thought the word had to start with A. I just had to check the answers there. I should have checked it before I started this video. Um, so it could be anything. A. What type of bird? A uh, magpie. A uh, sparrow. Um, and then an item of clothing. A dress. Um, a pair of pants. <laughs> Um, and an, so it, it, these are your articles, you see. So a and an, you put an before a word that starts with a vowel or a vowel sound. Um, and a is when it's a hard sound at the beginning of the word um, or a consonant. Not always, there's a few exceptions. But anyway, I, I feel like I've, uh, I might have just confused you a bit there, but it's not actually hard at all. It's really easy, nice and straightforward. And if you're not sure, don't forget, the answers are underneath. I will go over the, la, the D. So I'll just tell you what the answers are now. So the facts and figures ending with the word Asian is information. Did you get it right? The next one, the process of getting ready for something. You're preparing for it like we were preparing for our first Holy Communion. Preparation. And then if you have respect for someone, um, you admire them, it's admiration. So again, you've got to think about how the spelling changes there. Um, info, inform. We let somebody know something. I'm informing you that your child's behaviour at school today was absolutely amazing. You inform, you tell people things. So inform, information. Um, the root word doesn't change the spelling. Um, prepare, preparation, you take off the E, add Asian, and same with admire, um, you take off the E, add Asian, and, it, and it's admiration, not admiration. So sometimes the sound changes as well. Prepare, prepper, preparate, preparation. Yeah, that changes slightly as well too. Okay, that's it then. Done that, well done. Um, easy. Easy! Get that done in 10 minutes, you go and play. Right, have fun. Bye!